Browns looking deep down the left side. Mendes to the only end zone. Touchdown! Pulling, pulling to the house. And the players streaming from the sideline to celebrate with 17 seconds left. Welcome everybody back to another episode of B-Varsity Nightly. I'm your host, Trevor Horn. It is Wednesday, September 23rd, 2015. You can believe we're already into the fifth week of the high school football season, but that can wait a couple more days. Today was all about cross country out at Yoktus Park. It was the Southwest Yosemite League first meet of the season. Big day for Cagney Duncan and another teammate. Let's go straight to the action. Without Maggie Baker, the Bakersfield High senior, it was all about Cagney Duncan, the junior from Liberty. She takes an early lead at the start out at Yachtus Park in the Southwest Yosemite League, first meet of the season, and she continued to hold that lead and continued to improve on that lead throughout. Duncan had over a 30-second lead over the pack throughout the race. She would finish in the fifth-best time in the last six seasons out at Yachtus Park in the Southwest Yosemite League meets in front of the pack of Stockdale's Caitlin, Davenport, Macy Trillo meets, and Taylor on its own of Centennial as Duncan would win in a time at 18.59, just the fifth time a girl has raced under 19 minutes at Yachtus. There's the freshman, Macy Trillo meets of Stockdale with teammate Davenport right behind her and Anna Lazone out of Centennial coming in fourth. In the boys race, it was a big pack up front early on with Stockdale freshman Marcus Moda leading the pack along with the trio of Liberty runners, Richard Garcia, Miguel Morales, and Robert Sagasta. But later on in the race, Morales would break away. He won the East Bakersfield invite two weeks ago, and he won an event up at Woodward earlier in the month, and he takes the title here in a time of 15 minutes, 56 seconds with Moda, the freshman out of Stockdale, coming in second, Sagasta coming in third, and teammate Richard Garcia coming in fourth. Um, it meant a lot. I, I came out really fast in the beginning, and I kind of slowed down because I've been sick this last weekend, so I wasn't feeling that well. And uh, But uh, I just tried to push myself, and I thought it just at this time I have to race against the clock, and I had some family members that hadn't, co Oops. <laughs> hadn't come in a while, so it was good, and it helped me. Um, improve my time. <laughs> oh, I got, I'm going to the Stanford Invitational this uh, this Saturday, so today was just about winning. You know, I, I wasn't concerned with time at all. It was just about staying relaxed and you know, just getting the win. Time wasn't important to me right now. Don't forget, B Varsity Live airs right here at Bakersfield.com tomorrow at 2 p.m. Zach, you and myself will be joined by Chavez head football coach Casey Quinn. The Titans are 3-0 and take on Highland Friday night. That is one of numerous games in Kern County, which include Frontier at West. Bakersfield is hosting Salesian. Liberty is hosting San Diego Power Cathedral Catholic. Ridgeview is at Stockdale. Remember, Stockdale was up by two touchdowns at number one Clovis last Friday. Well, Clovis is in town, and they'll play at Centennial, and that's going to be our game night, game of the week, live at 7.30 right here at Bakersfield.com on AM Radio Dial at 12.30 ESPN. And that will be preceded at 7 p.m. with game night with Vance Palm right here in studio live at Bakersfield.com and uh, ESPN 1230. So make sure you check out both of those. And for B Varsity Nightly, I'm Trevor Horn. We'll be right back here at Thursday night at 10 p.m. at Bakersfield.com. I promise. Have a good one, guys.